Hello mommies, baby daddies, cousins, brothers, aunties, whoever is watching. It's your girl Shama back at it again with yet another video with Mommies with Purpose. This month we're talking about purpose with an E-D and we're back with another video talking about now what? Now what? But you already know your girl. We have to start with a quick word of prayer. Bow your heads, close your eyes. Lord God, we thank you for this day. Lord God, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord Father God. I ask right now that you decrease me and you increase so that I can be able to talk and say what you put on my heart, Lord Father God, and in the midst, be able to quiet my spirit so that I'll be able to hear exactly what you want me to say at the right moment for the right person on the other side of this screen, Lord Father God. I thank you in advance, Lord Father God, for a productive day and a productive word that you're about to allow me to say, Lord Father God. And Lord Jesus, we just thank you and we love you for the sacrifices that you have made so that we can be able to live in our purpose, Lord Father God. Thank you and we love you. Amen. Amen, y'all. Okay, so now what? Now what is all about, okay, all the things you spoke about, how to find purpose and purpose block. I've been through all of that and I know my purpose or I have a purpose in mind. What do I do? Now what? That's what this is all about. And before we dive in deep, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the love and support that I have gotten on social media. And continue to share, like, subscribe. I see y'all subscribers out here in these streets. Um, and I can tell that y'all love my babies because their views on whatever I featured them on has been incredible. And I just thank you guys for the love and support. It really pushes me and helps me embrace this new journey that I'm on. Um, but if you have not, yeah, last week we spoke about purpose block. Purpose block was all about things that distract us from our purpose. And we've separated into two. I spoke about first you taking out those toxic, those toxic thoughts and casting out all those things that come against you when you believe that you're ready to walk in purpose. And then the second one is your distractions, distractions of time, distractions of people, things that take away our time from our purpose. If you have not watched that, you already know what to do. Stop this video, go back and run that thing back. Okay, stop, go back. Hey, run that thing back. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. But yes, if you have not watched that video, man, I've gotten so many feedback on, I gotten so much feedback on how impactful it was. And for some people that it's really relevant to, like that's something that they're struggling with right now. And man, just the honesty and the things that God had downloaded in my spirit at that moment, I would just love for you guys to go back and watch that before you watch this video because it will help you along the journey in a long way. Um, but now, here we are. Now what? I've been through that. I'm, I'm in that right now, but I'm also trying to figure out what do I do? And I'm gonna give you three key tips today to talk about what now, what to do next. This whole video is about transition moving from one place to another place. Because at the end of the day, in order to progress in your purpose, you have to be able to move. It has to be in motion. You have to constantly be in motion, ready for the next thing and the next assignment that God has, on, has for you. And the three key tips, the first one is pray. Honestly, this tip is for anything that you do, the first thing you want to do is pray. I'm always gonna lift up the kingdom of God in whatever I do because without God, they ain't no me. They, and to be honest, there ain't, there ain't no you. But um, you know, for those of us who are believers or if you're just new on your journey of Christ, praying always goes a long way. Um, for me, number one, praying is important because the number one thing you wanna make sure first before you do anything is make sure that is what God had in mind for you to do. Whatever it is that you have in mind or in your heart that God has called you to, you wanna make sure that it is what he did call you to. Because number one, let's not act like people aren't attached to this thing. When you are accountable for other people's hearts, that 
is a big deal because at the end of the day you don't want to lead people astray you don't want to sell people dreams and you don't want to do something for five ten years come to find out it was something that you were never called to do because at the end of the day god can't cover what he didn't what he didn't apply what he didn't give so it's like you know yes there's grace along the way but let's not abuse the grace of god you know let's not abuse the fact that he he created you to be a great communicator and you're just trying to use that to get yourself where you want to get yourself let's not abuse the fact that he made you to be this creative talent and you're using that to take advantage of people let's not let's not try to use and abuse what god has given you to give to others so you want to make sure number one that you want to make sure that you pray so that it is something that you're supposed to be doing because a lot of the times the things and i said it in the morning motivation some of the things we're running from is the things that god is calling us to and the reason why he's calling you is because you never wanted it he knows that he can get you to a humbling place and that he can uh, he can use you you can be an open vessel for him and then you want a prayer of coverage make sure that you get yourself out of the equation because whatever your purpose is is not for you it's for the other person when god did everything that he did along his journey to get to the cross to die for our sins it was literally to do everything towards us to give back to us so that means whatever you do in your purpose is always for other people it's not for yourself in the process seek ye first the kingdom of god and everything else will be shall be given unto you that is because in the process of you doing what god has called you to do he will fill you up in the process you will find fulfillment in that you will find that this is something that actually brings joy into your heart brings happiness into your heart brings purpose into your life and then when you do that prayer of coverage, prayer of making sure that you place God and invite him in the center of that thing, he will open your eyes to the journey and continue to show you the ropes. God is a great GPS, man. When I tell you, yes, we, the journey is not going to be straight. Let me tell you that the journey is not going to be straight. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to make the wrong turns, but God is great at redirecting. I promise you, I can attest to that because man, no matter how many times I've screwed up, God has definitely shown me the ropes. So the second thing I want to talk to you about is transfer. Transfer. The first part of transfer, if you have not, if you have a dream in mind or a purpose in your heart that you believe that God has given to you, the first step, if you have not done anything, is write it down. Write it down, make it vivid, put it in front of your eyes, make it alive and well in front of you. Post it on your wall or write it in in your journal if you if you if you journal just like me uh, if you journal write it down circle it pray over it do whatever it takes for you to get to that next level maybe you are a person that has that pen in the paper um what i like to do let me show y'all whenever i have something in mind um i'm just maybe you maybe you're like me where before and i i i would encourage you to do this maybe it's not that you have all the ropes and the keys or whatever the case may be from that post-it note from that pen and paper take it into a document me i love google i haven't used microsoft since 93 i ain't gonna lie to y'all <laughs> because when i discovered google i was like this is brilliant you know it has its moments but google has been the best thing for me because if i just don't know exactly where i want to go but i know certain things that i want to do i create google docs like um but i create google docs and i pretty much just like list i don't know if you can see okay they want me to score <laughs> i don't know if you can see but i just like create google docs for anything that i have in mind um it could be something as simple as writing the thing that you have in mind to do and then from there just you know um a lot of business people will tell you it's like a business plan write down what it is that you want to do your your long-term and short-term goals where you want it to go how is this and asking yourself certain things that you know will help sustain you along the journey what problem are you solving um, who are you going to be helping? Who is your targeted audience? Who are the people that you want to be able to help 
along your journey like asking yourself all these questions so you can have kind of like a map in a plan to where you want this thing to go or maybe you're just like me where I am an actual I need to see what I'm talking about <laughs> maybe you're just a writer you can write and then automatically okay it comes to mind but for me I like pictures and slides and stuff like that so I have Google slides and stuff like this you see my mommy's with purpose I have my relaunch going on like and I just have like slides and pictures like of different things that I want to do because you have to start getting it into motion you have to see things in front of you to give you a direction from there on put a stamp on it put a date on that thing you have to put a date because that's the thing that's going to keep you on your toes if you just have that thing on there it's like okay i want to do this one day one day will never come i'm just gonna be honest with you putting a deadline and putting a date in your mind when you see the calendar every morning when you see that those those days are getting closer it's going to keep you on your toes and give you the the ammunition that you need to fire that gun like give you that energy and that you know that boost that you need to be like you know what let me start um but also with the date also ask god it also goes back to prayer um and after you transfer this is key find a mentor okay finding a mentor is a one but finding the right mentor is another thing okay it's important to find a mentor why is mentors important mentors are important because they are like a cheat sheet to a test okay mentors are the people that have gone through the journey before you so they kind of know the tips and tricks and things to help you along your journey they can help guide you and they can help be an accountability for you and what i mean by finding the right mentor finding the perfect mentor is because number one you want to look for people that have your best intentions in mind. Do not find a mentor that wants to help you halfway. Man, I've dealt with people that wanted to help me halfway. They, they're willing to help me, but they're not willing to help me if I get better than them. Or they're not willing, to, or find people that actually know the journey that you're on. Like, don't be looking for people that have no idea what it is that you're on. <laughs> like, don't be looking for, if, if you're, trying to find a career as a nurse and you just need help in the medical professional field don't try to go find a mentor that's a babysitter it ain't gonna happen okay so like you want to find a mentor that actually understands the journey that you're on and that can actually help you do your transition the best advice you could give is through experience Man, I can't, I can't tell you how many people try to tell me what direction to go in and where I am in my life and have no idea what it is to be juggling as a mom and as a wife and trying to be an entrepreneur and then now this. Like, people are gonna try to tell you what you should do because they're going based off of their experience. So yes, I'm not gonna say, like there are some amazing people out there who are talented, who are gifted, but just because they're talented and gifted doesn't mean that they're your right mentor. Just because they're talented and they're gifted, even if they are working in the field or the thing that you want to do, it doesn't justify that they're the right person for you because at the end of the day, you wanna make sure that you're eye to eye with your mentor. Take all that you can get but also understand when to use wisdom to apply certain things that, that are being gifted to you because everybody's journey is different. What was that journey? Wow. Um, everybody's journey is different. But all in all, those are the three things. What's next? Pray, prayer of coverage. Pray to invite God into your vision. Pray to make sure that you get yourself out of the equation so that God can step in the place. And then two, transfer. Transfer whatever whatever stage that you're in, whether it's the dreamer or the post, the writer, um, transfer that thing, get it into a document, get it on get it on some type of paper, get on something to make sure that it's concrete. And once you do that, stamp it, put a date on it to make sure that you're gonna do the work that it takes to get that thing out there. Um, let's go from being a dreamer to being an actual a visionary. Um, and then the last thing is to find a mentor. Now about finding a mentor, it may not happen overnight. And that just because you don't have a mentor right now doesn't mean that the journey is over for you or anything like that. 
um, along the way, the, the mentor will come and trust me, you will find the perfect person when they're in front of you or when you see them. You will know who you want to be your mentor, um, but still keep working. And even in the process, even it could be for a year from now, that is also okay. It's, um, I wouldn't say it's mandatory, but it's vital. <laughs> you know, it's vital to help you. Some people have went through their journey alone and it has worked out perfectly fine. So it can work out. I'm telling you, it can work out without a mentor. But what I am saying is that it is easier because the su the support and the love and just the encouragement that you can get from a mentor, it can help you go a mile away. What you would have done in 50 days with a mentor could probably take you 25. Those are the three key tips that I would give you to move on to the next level. And all in all, I want to thank you guys so much for just allowing me to share my heart with you about purpose with an ED. If you took out nothing from what I said, just remember that you were purposed before you even knew that you had a purpose. That's what this whole series was about for the month of May. And as we're closing out, um, if you have any questions or um, advice or something that you want me to talk about that I didn't mention about being purposed, let me know. So if you got my number, text me. If you um, if you have me on social media, follow my social media page, Instagram, Facebook, Mommies with Purpose. Um, you can DM me, write me. I will definitely um, I'll definitely shoot out a Q and A or something like that about anything that you may have concerns about or things that you kind of want me to open up the door about things that I have I have spoken about. Let me know, holla at your girl, and I'll definitely check in with you guys and talk to you some more about purpose before we move on to our next series next month that I'll be letting out by this week. Um, but other than that, have a great day. Until next time. Thank you for watching an episode of Mommies With Purpose. And if you have not yet done so, pause this video and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You can also follow me at Facebook or Instagram at Mommies With Purpose. And most importantly, share this video. Share it with the mommy that you think needs to hear it the most. Or even if the person is not a mommy and I said something today that resonated with you or you think may resonate with someone else, share the video. Until next time, love, peace.